Today we are going over eight, yes, eight whiskeys that I normally reach for or I would go to if I wanted to taste something higher proof. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, and checking out the channel. Please do me a few flavors. I said flavors. Favors. Please like or dislike this video as it'll help YouTube's algorithm and seeing if it's gonna share this video with others. And please subscribe, you know, maybe here. Subscribe, that will definitely, definitely help me out. So, I made a video about top five or six go-to bourbons, right? Or go-to whiskeys, because I had a ride there. So you guys can see that either here or here. Um, due to some life things that have uh, recently happened, which I'll share with you guys in a second, I decided to remake that video with um, over 100 proof whiskeys. Yeah. You guys know I am not a proof hound, but sometimes you need that extra push, that extra oomph, that extra knock your teeth out type of flavor. Um, so I will share this with you guys. Recently, I have been laid off from my, uh, from my uh, job. Um, yeah, it sucks. It is what it is, it happens, and it's happening a lot more lately. Um, know that I'll bounce back, but you know, you have that, you have those few days that you're like, damn, you know? Might wanna reach for something, might wanna go take your mind off things, and you know, you're a little bit pissed off. But for those occasions, you need to have those go-to whiskeys that you can just reach for and they have to be that stronger stuff. No, we are not drinking to get drunk, but we also want to uh, feel it when we drink some of these whiskeys. So, decided to put eight for you. We'll get into it, but before, you know what I always do, guys. I always have to start it out with an inaugural cheers. So, cheers. Here's to you guys, here's to me. Here's to the future. That definitely packed the punch. Mm hmm Spiciness, flavorful, tobacco, leather. This is the first one that we're going to talk about. And the first one that a lot of people should reach to if they have the luxury of having this, which somebody, most of us should at least have one or two. And that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yeah. So this particular one is a barrel proof um, store pick from Primo Liquors. Check them out down here. Um, they're, uh, they were my favorite store in South Florida. And this one is 130 proof. So this is their own store pick of Elijah Craig barrel proof. But obviously you guys know that Elijah Craig puts out a uh, barrel proof offering every, uh, well, three times a year. So every couple of months. So you should be finding that and that is my first one. Second one that I'm gonna go to, which is a little harder to find because, at least in my area, they don't sell this. So I have to get it online and that is Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Yes, this isn't as high as that. This is about 114 proof, but it still gives you that nice kick, that nice, you are drinking something good feeling, right? Not that daily drinker feeling, right? If you guys don't know my story, I got into bourbon through Four Roses, and it was actually the Four Roses, the $20 one, their cheaper offering, that had me kind of exploring what this bourbon thing was. But it wasn't until I tasted 1792 that I was hooked. And it was the small batch, but it was the first bourbon that I was like, okay, I'm buying that and I'm gonna keep exploring this bourbon experience. So with that said, I have to put 1792 
full proof on this list. Now this particular one is a single barrel select from my perfect bottle group and this one is 125 proof. I love 1792. If you guys can find it in your area, full proof, it is an amazing, amazing bourbon. This one just recently <laughs> made the list because before that, I really wasn't feeling this bourbon at all. Now it is a weeded bourbon, but that's not why I wasn't feeling it. I just, I never really liked the taste until I tasted this one. And I have to give it big ups and props because this one, um, I got into it and it is amazing and it is larceny barrel proof. I tasted the A122, but I haven't been able to find it and that was good. But it wasn't I until I tasted this B522 that I was like, okay, I need to get a bottle. That one is a good bourbon. If you have not tasted that, I implore you to definitely try it out. Okay, we're gonna get into one of the non-bourbons and this is actually a rye. Now, you guys do know that I like particular rice, not that much. I like, I'm not a rye guy, so I'm very particular with my rice. This one I can find a lot in my area, at least I used to, I haven't seen it in a while, but it is my definite go-to, and this is Knob Creek, and it is the cast strength rye, yes. This is 127 proof, it is amazing. Now the Knob Creek regular rye is good too, I'm not gonna say that it's not, and it is usually around 100 proof, but this at 125 proof, this is great. I love this, and if you guys can find it in your area, I would definitely, definitely purchase it. The next one is a favorite of mine. I talk about it a lot, and it is the Maker's Mark limited release series. But, you know, I wouldn't just narrow it down to this. You can get the cast strength, you can get the, um, what is it, the 46 cast strength, I think it is. Um, the 101, if you really want to go that low, they are all good. Even the ABC or the Total Wine ones that they put out their own, um, their own like store picks, those are really good as well. And they usually have them to taste at the stores. So I would definitely ex explore that. But you cannot go wrong with some Maker's Mark at higher proof, so definitely. Go and check that out. So, this is going back to the bourbon, so you guys already see the box. So I have to, I have to put Booker's on here. So Booker's usually comes in over 120 proof, and you guys know it comes out every quarter, four times a year. This one is the uh, 0221. It's the tag along batch, and it's probably the highest proof one from last year, even though they were a lot in the same kind of proof range, 123 to 127. This one being the 127 proof, but this is amazing. I know they're a little harder to find in some areas, so if you can't get this, definitely go with something like a Knob Creek, uh, uh, Baker 7, um, Old Granddad 114. You know, they're all around that same taste, but I just decided to pick the Bookers because I definitely do love it. All right. Last one, and this is not, and I repeat, it is not a bourbon, it is another whiskey, but this thing will knock you on your ass. Yes, I said it, and this is Obtamian light whiskey. Obtamium, sorry, said it a little bit wrong. So, <laughs> if you guys want to be how, uh, Matt at ADHD Whiskey says, slammered right away, then I would definitely go for this. Wow, 136, you get a little taste of this and you'll be done, or at least I am for that night because yeah, that's up there. It's up there like the Coy Hills um, from Jack Daniels and stuff like that. So definitely you gotta go easy on that, but at least it is a, <laughs> it is a good one if you wanna feel that proof for sure. So that is my list of eight whiskeys that I definitely would go to if I want to have that more of that uh, punch in the mouth type of feeling when I'm drinking my bourbon, whether I have a hard day, hard night, hard week, Friday night pour, wanna feel it on the weekend, or like I said, 
get laid off and it is what it is. So let me know what your list is below. Let me know, comment. I love going back and forth with you guys. And subscribe, that definitely helps me out. Also, please check out the Patreon in the description. I'm gonna keep enjoying this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, stuff done and I want you to enjoy that whiskey.